In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the new Roland TD27 KV kit. It has over 700 instruments derived from the flagship TD50 and 17 models. It has 55 editable preset kits, acoustic, electronic, and three multi-effects engines. You can also import your own samples via an SD card. Now the really special thing about this kit is the way it feels. You've got a 14 inch digital snare, an 18 inch digital ride, and the VH10 hi-hats, which together make for a really responsive drum kit. Now I'm gonna show you my six favorites. So that was the Indie Rock Kit. My favourite thing about this is the attention to detail. Anytime I hit the kick drum, it makes the snare rattle. Which as a drummer, makes you feel like you're playing a real kit. That one was the ambient beat. Now my favorite part about this one is the effect that's been put onto it. Sounds really big and rich. So if you're at home by yourself, just jamming out, makes it really fun to play on. That was the NY Bop. The standout for me is the digital ride with the addition of a sizzle. Creates for a really nice dynamic underneath all the drums. That kit was kick versus snare. Now the really interesting thing about this kit is that the kick drum has a really long decay on it. But it also gets cancelled out anytime you hit the snare. That was the Ultra D&B. The interesting thing about this kit is the addition of a stack on top of the ride. Sounds really cool and really good for any kind of accents. That one was the house kit. Really diverse range of kind of sounds and noises. Really fun to be playing on, just making some beats. The next thing I'm gonna show you is a digital ride. It has positional sensing, basically means you know, I can hit it on the bow, the bell, and the edge, and you're gonna get a different tone. Also on the digital ride, it has incredible touch awareness, which makes it react like a real symbol. So I can choke it out anywhere on here, even just using a single finger. Another thing I really like about this kit is the digital snare. Now it's got automatic sensing, so it's gonna pick up any of the techniques that you use like cross sticks, rim shots, or any snare rolls. So now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to edit a kit. Simply hit kit edit, this will give you an overview of all your options. 
including to change the instrument, the levels, muffling, and all your overhead mics as well. If you want to change any of your instruments, use the instrument knob and cycle through until you find your favorite kick. If you want to change any of your pads, simply hit the pads you want to use and cycle through again using your instrument knob. Change any of the muffling, also very easy. Using the muffling knob here, from no muffling to loads. And that's how easy it is to edit a kit on the Roland TD27KV. In the Roland TD27 module, you can assign any sound to any of the triggers. On this kit, I've assigned a hi-hat to the rack tom, the rim of the rack tom, and the hats. This is really cool because it gives you the diversity and enables you to do stuff that you can't normally do on a traditional kit. Now in this kit, I've assigned a cowbell to the rim of the tom. On the back panel of the Roland TD27, it has both MIDI in and out. Now I've brought in my SPD-SX, and I'm gonna trigger the samples from that using the rims of my toms. The Roland TD27 also has Bluetooth connectivity, which means from my phone, I can stream my band's music and practice at home. So thanks for watching guys, and please come and try out this kit for yourself. It feels absolutely amazing.